Ooh, I got something kind of crazy for you guys. You gotta see this is... I just come out with something insane. You see? There is that chess piece, the nimble code that gave the refreshing. And I was like, what's gonna happen? If instead of light tanking with the feeder weight, I was going to light tank with the nimble coat and try to abuse the cooldown to survive better and do more DPS. You see what I mean? So today I renew the new tank meta. All right, it's gonna be one of the best meta in the game. Light hatchet rapier tank. Cooldown reduction to the maximum, you know. You can even put only one taunt during a boss, like only a taunt on your hatchet and go full on in rapier DPS and put a good gem to do DPS on your rapier. This build is gonna unlock something. Oh. I just created this build. When you're gonna see the gear, you're gonna see it's all just some stuff that I got quick like this and I assemble together and it, it's working like the, it's insane and it's working but I'm gonna be able to make it even better into the future because the gear gonna be better and I, I'm gonna show the progress of the build and see if it can work outside of the red where it can work we're gonna see you can probably build a better finisher with the new perk you see there's a perk uh distained infliction or something that could be better to do some dps but i do fire mage pvp so i use king speed and guess what king speed gonna help me a bit to survive as a tank and that's nice to move to for boss fight that are moving a lot, a lot like the second boss fight, it just helped me to track the boss. I have the king speed plus the ace built in and my finisher. I'm like ace cap. Probably not, but almost. Uh, I got the hatchet. The hatchet with the rending throw. So my throw are doing descent damage. Uh, maybe I, I should be better to go for... Uh, a full-on action dps but uh the throw i feel like are pretty nice for keeping the aggro like i just make sure that i keep the aggro uh so i can use my my rapier full-on every time that the boss is like running away from me because he's gonna do an animation then i'm there throwing some hatchet and making sure that i don't lose the aggro even if, if i more build into uh, rapier damage it's gonna be enough to keep my aggro i just put some piece like that the the rapier is intel so you're gonna make dex and intel split for this build um you can put some fire harnessing or whatever is the harnessing that you want for your finisher but you're gonna lose so, some survivability but you see i did it with that so it work um it, it's yeah I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it on my tank set. For the moment, I'm just playing around, you know. Uh, I was feeling it. It was going well, and, you know, I did it. Uh, yeah, I might upgrade those pen to put something good on it. Like, uh, uh, I'm a fire mage. I might have to put my fire mage weapon perk on that, sadly. So, yeah. On the amulet, it, you change the protection to adapt on whatever, like natural protection is the last boss, and you know, like I explained that in every one of my videos, you're supposed to know. If you don't know, go watch the other one, haha. <laughs> so, I put this because leeching, why not, there's a lot of other good options, I'm pretty sure that I'm better to put one of my other ring, uh, because it's not 700 when I think about it. I'm pretty sure I have an Intel ring like this. But 700. So yeah, I'm going to put that. Uh, this worked very, very, very well. I like re fortifying toast and empowering toast and refreshing toast. Now it's all going to work because of the nimble coat. It's a great DPS build too that you can make with the finisher. But you know... So let's get straight into the build. This is the consumable that I use too with the infused ward potion, powerful unning stone, 
Ward. Yeah, and those food. All right. I am a tank, so I was not going to do a lot of backstab. Uh, and the empower, I'm already getting a lot of empower from other areas, so I was not really needing the empower. I felt like getting the elemental damage for my rapier was the best thing, but if you don't have a, a elemental gem into your rapier, you're probably better to go for, for more uh, decks and almost no int, just like 50 int and the rest in decks, and like you go with 350 con. Uh, yeah, I did 350 con because, uh, you know, I, at the start, I, I, it was my first time trying it, but it's probably possible to lower the con, mostly for the, the second boss. Uh. Then I'm going to show my rapier tree. So this is the rapier that I use for tanking. I decided to put this. It's not on my DPS build. Uh, because uh, gaining some stamina when you're a tank gonna help a lot, seriously. Uh, and the ace, there's a, a couple perk, I think. Uh, you see, I gain some ace, some ace, I got king speed, I got some stamina. Like, my movement are on the max. When my healer is, the, is not able to heal me, man, I move. Uh, I can move a lot. And when the repose, you can have sundering repose. Uh, you can have some pants like this or whatever the, the armor with repost. It's a really good perk. I did not run it during the dungeon because we had enough rand most of the time uh, during the second fight. And uh, I was gaining more stats and I wanted the stats for more con and more DPS. It was more important for me. And this is what I use on the hatchet. The haste and the movement from the hatchet help a lot and being able to defy that sometimes gonna save your life 100%. The haste from this ability is amazing too and the DPS from it is, is, is kinda good. But uh, it was mostly just to keep the aggro. It's not... My, my goal is just to get the haste from the hatchet and the survivability and the ran. There's a couple thing like... Uh, it, there's some stuff that gives stamina and stuff like this like yeah yeah that, yeah yeah it regenerates stamina right there you see like there's some good perk into it my nimble coat was not upgraded but i would not have to upgrade it uh soon and you know i'm gonna have to do some output rush for that i did not do any output rush this season so i'm gonna have to make a wall build for it i did the output rush on my other account but this one I wanted to have a full 725 just before, just to see what's the difference. So uh, I'm like accumulating the inductor and now I'm starting to upgrade. As you can see, I did my rapier, I did my nimble coat. Next one gonna probably be the endless thirst. And then I'm gonna start to upgrade some uplight uh, gear and put my weapon perk on it. Hey, what happened, bro? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't say anything about experience required or anything, but I think I've seen them in here before.
Left side, AOE. Middle now, Corbett mid. Right side is closing. Gotta kill this forward quick before right goes this way.
Bande. Everybody on boss. Hey, we come. I'm trying to put it into the corner while we face it. Yeah, full send on boss, get the red out of the group. I'm gonna have to move because of the spike under me. Nice, I don't have spike anymore, I'm gonna stay there. Finish it, finish it. Nice shot, guys. Sick. Easy. Good job.